Okay, so what we're seeing here are three windows of our Second Life 20th Birthday Exhibition Composing Exhibit. The first window is Inventory, which is the in-world Second Life 3D platform. All the exhibits from broad versus fine through you speaking your own musical voice. In the middle, we have our hard disk uh, file folders, which also have the same exhibit names. And in our third window is the web view of our Google Drive, which also has all the exhibits. So we've done th three different content holding systems to create this exhibit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Evolving Spaces, Episode 3, Chapter, Re-Engage, Flow, Edit, Fine-Tune, Completion. We re-entered today's chapter by reflecting that in this stream, Episode 3, we completed the work on the composing exhibit in five chapters, including three nine-hour sessions. Overall, from the application to do the exhibit to the completion has been two months, although some parts were created even months before that as part of other projects. We notice, as we have before, there is a certain resistance to declaring completion. There is a kind of a grief that comes from the loss of spending two months, four months, depending on how you count it, uh, over time. And there is a kind of energy of release that if you get through that, it opens up the energy and gives it back to you for feed forward projects. Our other reflection is the composing exhibit project is the re reason we began streaming in YouTube versus Twitch. Results. We, as we finalized things up in the last five chapters, we reorganized the work files, which we just showed you an example of reviewed all of our idea diagrams from the past several months, updated the exhibit, tweaked the exhibits in place, added new ones. We're going to show you this real quickly. Reorganized the 3D layout and added our exhibit public relations and submitted the official check-in form. Overall, we have 88 clickable buttons. So let's take a look at what the exhibit is. We'll turn off the interface for just a minute. And we're going to use our free cam to show it off. As you come at the entry point, which is here, this is our exhibit I emblem. Uh, the emblem is from void comes energy, from energy comes sound, from sound comes shape. So this is our poetic introduction, truth beyond words. But the left-hand side is the exhibit purpose to express yourself musically, speaking in your own musical voice. And we start with everything, the human heart. Six weeks old, the first time you can hear your mother's heartbeat. 18 weeks. And these two beats create a beat against each other. And at 27 to 29, or 6 or 7 months old, you can hear outside voices. Hey. So all of these orange frames are clickable. We have what we would call the composer's corner over here. This is our poetic expression of what is the composer's toolkit. A single tone is standalone, except for its harmonics. And blah, 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 tweak the bits to make it all sound cooler. And here we show the difference in heartbeats between soft and loud and slow and fast. And then we do a little bit of uh, two time, three time. Here is plain up shape. And this is plain fancy. So this demonstrates the variations available to a composer. And then this conceptual animated 3D object, ooh, ah, 
the the seven pink uh, rods, flexible rods, demonstrate seven dimensions of musical expression, such as uh, fancy, plain, loud, soft, and the blue sliders represent the variables where you're setting it fast, slow, etc. Then over here is kind of a uh, theorist's corner. Build a scale, a little poetic expression, what the root and the neutral make a ground, da 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 da, da and but there are still excluded notes. So this is another animation that shows major urge, neutral, and the 12 notes of the scale can be any one of those. This is a demonstration of where tone comes from. Vibrate a comb, you'll hear a tone. And if you vibrate it at 260 times per second, that's going to be C4. And then over here, it, this is not only theor the theorist corner, but it becomes performer's corner because you can perform things. So the theory is that there are dyads. your two notes, but there's also triads. So if you start playing around with these, then over here is the image and sound, image and sound inform the other. And then these are links to our uh, videos. So for example, if you click that, it'll take you to that. But we don't, we didn't want to overstress on the videos. Basically we want it where you can click things and make sound. So here, for example, And this is where we plan to do tours with people because you can walk through here and click on stuff and there are a little bit of you know narrative placards up here but there's also narrative connections that for example this there's a lyric in here peace peace to my mind and back here we have a discussion of lyric from shape comes language from language comes lyric lyric is the blend so there, it's truth beyond words, but it's nevertheless using words. And what is, what's going on with that? Uh, now we have a playable round. Then this is something that we talked about having done a couple months before. So we say click a button. And we say, what sound does that, what does that sound like? Oily, sweet, savory? salty sour and then we try a different button so this is interactive and people can interact themselves and we can also do interviews um, another one over here number three what word or what image would that go with i think that's pretty obvious then here, a whole array of uh, voice, uh, sound spectrograms. And this will be fun to sh talk about because a regular trumpet sounds like this. But if you synthesize it, you get a lot of richness in there. And this visual spectrogram shows the trumpet, ha basically, it's these bottom red lines. But this has a lot of higher orange lines, higher frequencies that are giving a lot of uh, richness to the sound versus this. Same thing happens with violin. A regular violin is very expressive. But if you synthesize it and add these extra harmonics, it sounds different. And then of course, voice. And then this shows the difference between how you pronounce letters like ooh in June and uh in sun. Ooh. Uh. 
And then this is one of the places, another, that we give people the opportunity to go outside and say, well, would you like to make your own spectrogram? You can. There's this wonderful little interactive site. Or use your microphone and talk like that. Welcome to the stream recap. And you can also click these other instruments and get sounds similar to what we did. And then the other clickable is uh, world music. Do you like different kinds of world music? And there's this wonderful site with over a thousand. This is going to be a little loud. Just be careful. But if you click on these. Yeah, I told you it's going to be loud. So, because let's face it, this exhibit is fundamentals. People are going to come and they're going to have their own favorite music, which is what this says here. When you speak in your own musical voice, you have memory of music you like and listen to growing up or listen to now. Uh, but then also you hum and clap to the music. And then you have ideas like, gee, I'd like to make my own music. So anyway, that's the purpose of the whole thing. That's the overview of our exhibit. This is now complete and posted for uh, PR. We said we had PR here. And the thing's open officially on June 22nd, which is in eight days. Like that. So, our ideas. That, com that concludes our... Uh, this concludes our episode. Our ideas for next time are... We want to make an exhibit gift. Basically, when you... It'll be when you click on this pillar over here. When you click on it, it'll give you something... In, in Second Life. That'll be a composer's exhibit. So we're thinking about making it be a three octave, three timbre keyboard. Uh, there's ideas for tweaking the exhibit, minor tweaks and uh, PR tweaks. Shout outs to Silent Lurker later viewers. We've noticed that these, um, since we're streaming on YouTube, the YouTube uh, live stream recordings are kept. They're not deleted right away like Twitch does. So we actually are get, noticing viewers of our recorded live streams. So thank you for that, later viewers. And then we had uh, several feedback providers while we were finalizing our exhibit that gave us invaluable ideas. So tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.